Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Windows computer will not sleep, but it will not also turn off the power. So in this brief video, I'm going to go through how to hopefully resolve this problem without too much of a hassle. So what we're going to do is start by opening up the start menu, and you want to type in power. And one of the best matches underneath control panel should say power options. You want to left click to open that up. And now underneath preferred plans, you likely have a plan that has a blue circle inside of a larger circle, which means it's the selected plan. You want to go over to the corresponding change plan settings on the right here, and you want to left click on that. And then you want to proceed to left click on change advanced power settings. You want to go on this list here and scroll down until you get to multimedia settings. Left click on the little plus sign next to it. And then you want to expand the when sharing media option here. And then there might be something underneath setting that says prevent idling to sleep. You want to left click inside of here. And you want to change this to allow the computer to sleep. So once you've done that, you want to click on apply and OK. And now I'd also recommend going back into change advanced power settings again. And now this time you want to go down to where it says sleep. Expand that one. Sleep after. Put a little plus sign next to it. Now there might be a time listed in here. You want to set it to zero. And then once you set it to zero, it'll say never. So go back in here. Once you've done that, it should say never. And now there might also be a hibernate after option or hibernate. You want to select that to never or turn that off as well if you have that ability. And if you want to allow wake timers, the setting enable basically will, if you're using a mouse or a keypad, if you start doing activity, it will turn it on. It'll take your computer out of sleep mode. So you can definitely play around with that a little bit. And if you ever wanted to go back to how it was before, you can just restore plan defaults. So pretty straightforward. And I do hope that after you restore your computer that your problem has been resolved. So thanks for watching, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I look forward to catching you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.